Oh, we got something. Yes, sir. Check out the deck, man. Stained her up for the summertime. <laughs> what paint? Got her all nice and glazed over, man. You gotta do that every once a year, you know, you take care of it. Decided to do a little outside action here today. Just the weather's really good. Good lighting out here. What do we got, you guys, man? Yes, sir. The Kyosho FW06 10 scale 0.15 engine four wheel drive touring car, man. Look at that, boy. Little on road nitro car. So I've been, I wanted that kit for a long time. Um, it's hardly ever in stock. And so um, I was fortunate enough to be listening to good live stream dude that keeps us always in the know of what's available and and just keeps us keeps us in in our bash gear and having fun you know and i listen to live live streams religiously of course you know it's kind of the other side you know i got the race stuff but then i also like to participate in monster trucks and in bash man still and and man I always wanted one of these FW06s ever since I saw them. And it's just really fickle when they're going to even be there. And uh, yeah, I was just listening to the live stream and, the guy, and he's like, guys, get them now. Or he just said, he, his buddy just got one. He even say, get them now. He's like, yeah, they just got one. They should be in stock. And I run over there. They're in stock. Oh my God. They've been out in back order for like almost a year, man. And now... They were available for what felt like less than a business week. They're already on back order. Can't even get them right now. I'm sure there'll be another run of them, you know, but I'm really glad that I just happened to be listening to the live stream that night and he directed us toward them and I used the link and he gave us. So hopefully they know that he's trying for the people and payout, I got me my own FW06 and I'm super stoked. So what I'm mostly stoked about is the fact that this car comes with an engine. I think that's really cool that just, I mean, there's, there's, there's touring car kits available, you know, they've been available the whole time, but this just comes with its own little engine. And that to me is bitching. I want to compare how this engine runs to my, um, to my quad rider. You know what? Yeah. Hey, Racer Eddie. Racer Eddie. Huh? What's going on? You want to supervise this unboxing? Heck yeah, he wants to supervise this unboxing. He's in. This is Racer Eddie. Racer Eddie. A 1997 Kyosho Quadrator. So, Racer Eddie's little .12 engine has performed really well. It has this amazing idle. And um, I'm, I'm really loving uh, learning about these low compression engines. Um, they just idle for days. It seems like you don't really have to worry about tuning them so much because maybe the compression is a bit lower. So ever since um, I saw these kits and I messed with Racer Eddie and I was just really impressed by just the consistent runnability of these small engines. So I was really excited to check out this uh, this point .15, man. You know, you don't have to order some other, some other different aggro engine that's gonna be like expensive to throw in your touring car kit. This comes with an engine. So that was a major selling point for me on this. So without further ado, with Racer Eddie supervising us, let's get this box open, man. All right, this is new. For me, just like it is y'all, this is what happens when you get one of these. It's a small box. It's like, uh, yeah, it's kind of heavy too. When it arrived, it had some weight to it now. All right, standard equipment. Let's look around the box a little bit here. Save all these boxes, you know. 
again coming from you know who man the freshest to freshest never let me down boy from race cars to vintage to just overall fresh man these are my guys right here baby you know what time it is mm -hmm. so got your nice manual some tools there always rad to have tools Looks like the bumper, front bumper assembly. Racer ready. what up? You approve? You approves. I was watching uh, Dimitri run his quad rider. Or maybe it's his buddies. Same thing, we gotta put these deflectors on. The freaking oil goes all over the place, man. So he had his on too. His was kind of going that way, but. Um, I'll get Racer Eddie back on a run here pretty soon. But right now he's got to supervise operations. Just show him a little more. You can see his little engine there. This is a nitro, you guys. For those of you that don't know, man, this is a, that's a gas powered, um, nitro gas powered RC quad. Okay, back to the F4 V06. Here it is, man. Here's your 0.15, dude. Let's uh, see if we can see this razor blade here. This to me is the most exciting part of this kit. Um, just the fact that it comes with this little engine, dude. I'm so excited to run this thing, man. I also think about these um, this touring car kit this reminds me of like how rc cars were like before off-road almost like the little cox cars from back in the 70s you know when like that's all we had to run you know when before anything was electric you know say a father wanted to run an rc car with his son he probably had to pick up a cox car you know back in the 70s a long time ago and they came with little engines just like this man you know, this is a little engine. This is beautiful. A little 0.15, dude. Wow. Unreal, dude, with a little two-speed there, man. Wow, so cool. Unreal. So, yeah, I mean, this is how it all started, really. Were um, just little on-road cars, little gas-powered on-road cars. That's how the whole RC game started. So this kind of just reminds me of a major throwback and I love stuff like that, you know? Get back to the real that pistons up top, I think. <laughs> so, all right, we got our engine here. I might want to uh, put the bag back around it. So, should be good, man. I'll get this thing broken in proper and I have a feeling that this little dude is just gonna be an awesome little workhorse. I wanna run something that, um, from what I can tell, these cars aren't very loud too. Maybe I could get away with running it across the street, you know, just set up some cones and have a good time. Just pretend, pretend it's like the 70s, dude. And we don't have any electrics and all we can do is just run little gas cars. That's what I wanna do, man. I wanna pretend it's like way back in the day, dude. When all you brought was just a little thing of gas, your car and your little radio, only I won't have like a long antenna, but <laughs> that's it, dude. I want to take some vintage on-road style runs with this dude right here. It doesn't come with a body, but so we got our tires pretty rad, man. They look pretty good. Um, I'd like to actually be able to drift with this thing. So hopefully I can, buy multiple sets of tires. Um, I'd like to do some aggressive cone running type drifting style stuff. With some gears and stuff. So for those of us that have built cars, man, this is no big deal. And let me say, man, for what I'm getting out of this box and for what this car is gonna do for me, they're practically giving these away. $289 for um, an, uh, an on-road nitro kit 
that comes with an engine. I mean, engines are two hundred and eighty nine dollars. I feel like they're just giving these these things away. I couldn't I couldn't believe the the deal, man. Like, you get an engine with these. Look at that little fuel tank. Super rad, dude. I mean, I'm just so used to spending so, like that kind of money on just an engine alone, dude. And you probably would have if you built a normal uh, nitro touring car kit. You have to, you know, get some killer engine that's already that expensive. It's not about the money. It's just like that they've just packaged this up, you know, for us to enjoy nitro. It's like, how could you not? Super killer blue chassis there. So I'm already liking the size, man. 10 scale scale on road very cool this will be my first time with something like that so we're so up to like 10 bags little shocks aluminum shocks man killer quality shocks Oil filled aluminum shocks. <clears throat> Little arms. Super dope arms. No first dates with curves with this bad boy, man. I gotta be careful. Respect it. <laughs> and uh, the little pipe. <laughs> Unreal, man. Unreal. It really reminds me of old Racer Eddie over here. Just, just little components, you know. <clears throat> that uh. They do the job, you know. Racer Eddie's still real functional, good to go. I messed up his brakes though, he's got no brakes, but. Uh, so, yeah man, I think old Racer Eddie approves of the FW06. He's looking over there going, what up? And uh, yeah, and I'm really stoked, man. So it's gonna be a while before I assemble this. Um, it's summertime right now. Got a couple things coming up that'll keep me away from my hobby table for a bit, but I'm really happy, man. So the goal here again is just to take some, just to uh, run a car like it like it was the 70s, like for real, man. Like like the very first gas-powered RC cars were probably a lot like this, man. Just small cars that you just ran kind of close, so you didn't have a runaway. And that's all I really want to do. I just want to set up some cones and just have a good time with a little RC car, gas powered, man, for real. Yeah, and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. It'll take me a while to get this assembled. I have to get a body and you put your own electronics in, but for those of us that have um, that have run Nitro, we already know how to do this stuff. That's no big thing. I have lots of extra receivers. I'll probably throw it on my, uh, I'll probably throw it on my, on my Noble 4 Fly Sky and be good to go man yeah by the time I get this back together it will have cooled down it's really hot right now but um, I'll do a proper break in on the little engine let's see if the um, let's see if the book um, gives us um, break-in recommendations for these little point 15s because that's a new one that's a new one on me boy um, being in charge of a braking on a little engine like that this isn't something I'm gonna send over to Lance no need to you know so yeah so any anyways I'm really excited about this thing man these things were gone in min in literally in minutes dude you know in minutes so yeah man I ordered it right right away right away right when I heard that these things were up Man, it, it had to happen. This looks like it'll be a fun build. Builds always are fun, man. Really enjoy that, spreading everything out. Maybe I'll start building it when, uh, you know, when the weather cools down and we're not out there doing summertime stuff. Okay, the 15 engine is a high performance engine and you gotta break it in properly. Okay, please read. Okay, so it does feature a page talking about the little engine here, which is cool. And then there is a page dedicated to the break-in. So, 
so maybe I'll have to uh, refer to page 4041. Always breaking the engine as per page 39. Oh, okay. Um, without going to full throttle, do five tanks. So Kyosho says five tanks. Make sure don't don't run it empty. Five tanks, not full throttle. You know, so just you know, five tanks of just chilling. I can do that. That's easy, man. So, yeah, I mean, again, without this being a high compression engine, um, maybe, uh, you know, you don't, the break-in process is just a little different for the metals and everything, so we should be good. I'll watch a few other videos to see what people are saying about this. It'd be great to talk to some others that have uh, broken these little engines in. I would love to get additional feedback on uh, breaking in a .15 little engine. It might be the only time I do it. <laughs> So, anyways, man, got your Kyosho FW06. Again, there it is. So, yeah, the build will take me a little while. Who knows, though, man? Once you start building a car, sometimes they just go together like that. I will have to find a, a body, though, and all that stuff, so... All right, that's what you guys. I wanted to just put out a little, um, little RC content. I've been going on kind of a sick run with music lately, which is cool. You know, that's just what it is, man. Music is one of my hobbies, and uh, I like to put stuff on my channel that are my hobbies. It's just my channel is anything I do to enjoy life. So when we say RC, it could be really it's hobbies: music, skating, dirt biking, building RC cars, hobbies, man, hobbies. So. Yeah, I went on a little run of uh, putting music there. If the music did progress, I'd probably hook up a different channel for that, but um, <laughs> there wouldn't be anybody, any subscribers to listen to it, so <laughs> I just put my music on my RC channel, man. I don't know. A couple people listen, so it's cool. It's cool to me. Um, but uh, like I said, though, it's good to get back to a little bit of RC, RC content here. Um, right now up in uh, Idaho, up at HRCR, the, the 10 scale shootout is going on up in the Pacific Northwest. Adam Drake is, um, through a, a gas truck party, man, <laughs> for real. He, he's throwing a gas truck party right now up at HRCR in Idaho. So it's cool that Adam Drake is utilizing our, um, our awesome scene up here in the Pacific Northwest. He lives down in California. Um, but, um, I'm seeing like a pretty rad little highway there, you know, um, who knows? I don't know. Maybe the Drake will love it up here and, and decide, hey, man, it's a good scene up here, man. This is where I want the the, uh, the, the master the master master class pools to be from here on in. I could see it, man. I could see him just wanting to, like, sort of be around that. It's such a rad scene over there. Uh, one of our crew called me yesterday and told me he's going. Dylan, what up? And uh, Dylan and Jake, a couple other NCTers, dudes gnarly uh eight scale buggy guys are up there running 10 scale two-wheel drive stadium and, and a couple other things i don't think either of them are in gas truck but a few guys are that i've seen running eight scale buggies and stuff they went ahead and got their 10 scale gas truck gear together so that's really cool man and they're probably having a really fun party up there right now just chilling out running 10 scale and just having a good time so it's just good to see um them laying out that gear and just saying, hey, let's just have, you know, let's have a good time. I don't know if there's coverage for it right now. It doesn't get the type of coverage that um, eighth scale battles do, but it's cool that they're doing it. There's different classes, and yeah, man, I wish I was there. <laughs> so, peace to those dudes up there taking advantage, man. You know, just having a good time. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's about it, man. I'm gonna go in there and just get a couple couple things ready for 
the next thing coming my way. It is a bit of music, so I got to put all this stuff away and go hit up a band practice here in a little bit. Keep playing those drums. All right, you guys, my name's Craig. Hi, Desert Agro RC. Racer Eddie in the house, man. You guys have a great day. Later, Eddie.